for the very intro of this song where you hear, uh, you'll hear the guitar kind of distort and wobble and then go into slight feedback. Well, what I came up with, what it seems like he's doing, he hits a harmonic on the fourth and third string at the seventh fret. So we touch those strings real lightly. <laughs> string open and then I just turn down the intensity the tremolo which stops the pulsing of that E chord so that might help you with the intro I mean it's just something kind of cool I figured out okay a song we can all relate to uh, smashing perfectly good guitars <laughs> so for this video what we starting out with is A minor and then we go to E minor that's for a full measure and then we're going to go to G and use this form of G because you're going to just move down to a C, which is actually C at 9. So you've got your two fingers on the third fret and your top or the deeper strings, typical G, then just move those top two to the fifth and fourth. Then we go to a D, back to E minor. So together. So that's the first kind of run through. The second time, he changes the timing just a little bit. We're going to go A minor. Our E minor is going to be shortened. It's going to be half E minor, half D. All right, and then we're going to go G, C, D. That D we're going to hold now. Then we go to E minor. With a so you're down, up, down, down to E minor. Okay, so let me play that second half for you. That's the intro, but those that chord um, structure is the chorus also. So we're halfway through the song. Now during the verse, uh, what he does is he's playing an E minor for measure, G, A minor, and a half measure of C and D. Okay, and then we're going back through E minor. We're going to change. We're going to go D and um, yeah, D and G, and then you're into the chorus, which again is like the intro. So once you go through the chorus, then um, the verse repeats, and there is um, some solo parts, and I'll cover that too for you. So uh, it's a cool song to play through. All right, the first solo should sound like this in the intro. So I'm in the middle position, we want a little bit more bassy, uh, which gives us both pickups. And what we're going to do is slide from 14 to 16 on the third string. And then we're going to hit the second string at 17, and then 16 back on the third, and then 15 on the second. So it should sound like this. Alright, as you hold that 15, you're going to hit 16 again on that third string and do your 17, 16, 15. So it's just a little pause that adds some interest to it. So the second half will be like this. Um, let me take it from the first part. All right, the next part, you gotta move back to your first position, which is, we're in E minor um, here. So um, 
What we're going to do is take 14 on the third string and bend it up and release to 12. And then we're going to bend 14 up and hit it three times while we bend it up. Then we'll hit it again and release it. So it's more of a pull off to 12 and then hit 14 on the fourth string. And then as we're on 14, we'll lay our finger down and catch 14 on the third to 12. So that part with the 14 stretched up. Then we'll hit 14 on 4, then 12 on 4, hammered into 14. repeats the beginning again. Now we're going to bend 14 up, catch 15 on the second string. Then take 14 and release it with a pull off to 12 and then catch 14 on the fourth string. So again, then we're going to do some slides, 14 to 12 to 11, and then from 11 all the way to 7, this is on the third string, and then hammer into um, 7 to 9, so it should sound like this. Let me take it from that uh, 15 on the second string as we stretch up the third. you land on gets you into that E minor and then D back to E minor. I was doing it up in the first position which you couldn't see but you can do it here. And you can do those as power chords. They go through the chorus. At the, at the very end of the chorus you'll hear this lick. Actually, is the end of the lead, the actual solo. But um, what he's doing there is open third to the fourth string at the fourth fret, then down to the second fret of the fourth string and open, and then D and E minor. And then your E minor with a ta-da. interest.